you know, look at this playing field right here. We have we have a lot of bushes, you got grass. It is bass heaven, they're up there shallow. And not too long ago, I did a video with Wired to Fish, flipping and pitching, you know, with the punch out crawl, big VMC hook, you know, big weight. And that's a great application, you know, for this right here. But I wanna talk a little bit more about some stuff that's, you know, something different. And, and one question that I get asked a ton when I'm out there on the road is how do I become a better angler? That's a very difficult question to ask, but one thing that I definitely feel comfortable in telling you guys is working on your mechanics is probably one of the biggest thing in fishing baits that may, maybe not everybody else, or fishing baits in areas that everybody else is fishing can get you a few more bites. So, you know, today I'm skipping a swim bait, you know, something that you're probably not used to seeing a lot of guys skip around this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, right here we have the Storm 360 GT swim bait and, you know, with a, a wheelless head. And the thing about that is I want something they can skip and this thing skips on a dime and it's really important to be able to get further back in there. I'm going to show you a couple ways to make better cast, you know, and try these applications, something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a little bit about it here real quick. You know, there's two main casts I'm going to utilize to get this bait further back up in the cover. You know, number one, you're going to hear about which everybody knows about is a, is a roll cast. But number two that I, you guys might not have heard about is the pitch skip. And, and this is what I'm gonna talk about. The pitch skip is something that I, I, I've used personally and perfected. It's more of a shallow water, close quarters thing. You've see, seen a lot of guys, you know, go out there, you pitch it out there, something like that. Well, the pitch skip is more so, it's not gonna be in your wrist, it's gonna be more so your whole wrist band of your body. You're utilizing your whole body to get that bait and that momentum going to where you can still utilize that bait and get that bait further back in those areas. And that's something that's really important. For instance, like, you know, I'm sitting right here, I'm getting a lot of energy behind my whole swing of my body following all the way through. And when I throw it out there, that's moving that bait at a pretty fast, for a pretty fast pace. And it's gonna allow that bait to skip across the water a little bit faster. So this takes some time. You know, I would I would suggest learning how to pitch, you know, fairly well. Get get in your yard or you know in the winter time you have some free time pitching in a coffee cup. I've done that for hours and hours and hours. And then once you get very comfortable with that, start utilizing and trying to learn how to pitch skip. And that's just you open up your whole body length, open up your whole body, and you have to really put a lot of energy into it and skip it along, along the bottom. You know, that's probably the easiest way to get that bait to skip and get into places that a lot of fish have not seen this bait. The last and final cast is the roll cast. You know, and, and for those of you who haven't tried it, it, it's pretty simple. It's basically a rotation of your wrist. You know, it's very simple. You're not using your whole body as much. You're rotating your wrist and casting it out there. And it takes a little time to get that timing about right. But when you get it out there, the key with this cast is getting it at a low trajectory and getting it out there because you have a long time where that bait's out there, especially making those longer casts, getting it out there and allowing it to skip. If you get to the skipping part, that's great. But it's gonna first start by just roll casting around pieces of cover. Then once you get used to that, then build it up and, and actually try to get further back underneath those bushes, further back underneath those under overhangs. But you know, the one thing that I will tell you about throwing and making a roll cast is you gotta make sure you have the right equipment. For me, a six, eight to seven foot rod is about perfect, especially for you starting out. It's just something that makes skipping and, and getting those baits further back in those places a lot easier. You know, if you have a seven, six or eight foot rod, it's gonna be very difficult. I mean, this one right here is seven, three, I can do it, but it took a lot of time and a lot of effort to get used to through using a, a seven foot or over a seven foot rod. Also, for me, breaks are huge when you're making a skip pitch or roll casting and skipping. So what I suggest, especially starting out, is rolling on, on about every reel has a brake system. So I'll go in there, right now I have it on zero, which I like it like that, you know, once you get used to it. But when you first start out, go about middle of the pack. Some of them have eight brakes, some of them have three, some, uh, you know, they normally have a eight, some of them 10, some of them have six. Go the middle of the pack. So if there's six of them, go to three. If there's eight of them, go to four. If there's 10 of them, go to five. Flip it over and then use your tension knob so you don't get a backlash. So when that bait hits the bait, water, you don't get a backlash, just like that. Now, you start trying around and skip it. Try to skip a little bit, try to cast a little bit. This is gonna make it to where you do make a bad cast, you're not gonna get a giant bird's nest and you're not gonna be able to get it out. This is gonna make it a little bit easier and then as you progressively get better at it, making that roll cast, making that pitch skip, you're gonna be able to loosen up that, that tension knob, take a few of those brakes off, and you're gonna be able to get further back in the cover.
You might ask, why skip when you can just pitch? I mean, this is the reason why. I'm gonna be able to get this and skip it further back into these places. You have overhanging bushes, you got a dock, you got things like that. This is probably one of those things that, for me, if I had one way to cast, especially in close quarters, this is it, because I'm able to get my bait further back. I'm talking with the chatter bait, I'm talking with the swim bait, I'm talking with a jig, I'm talking with a frog. It's the most effective way to get your bait further back in the cover at close quarters that I have found.